A very common message that I receive either via email or on LinkedIn, for example, goes something like this. Hey Dave, I'm interested in changing careers into analytics, and I know that I need to create a project portfolio, something that I can show to an analytics hiring manager and prove that I can do the job. But here's, here's my dilemma, Dave. I don't know what to do. I don't have a predictive analytics project that I can use to put into my portfolio. So if this sounds like you, if you're in a similar situation, this video is going to be very helpful for you. What I'm going to give you in this video is a predictive analytics project that's inspired by my real world experiences working as a hands-on analytics professional. And this data project has it all. One, the data is 100% free and it's available from US governmental agencies and anybody anywhere in the world can get the data. Two, it is a full life cycle project. You are going to grab data. You're going to learn about the data. You're going to clean the data. And then eventually you're going to wrangle the data. And then, of course, create a predictive model. So it's a full cycle project. And then lastly, this project can be implemented in any number of ways that works best for you and your career goals. So for example, you could tackle this project using linear regression analysis in Excel. Or maybe you decide to up-level your game and use machine learning, like maybe the Mighty Random Forest algorithm, with R programming, or Python, or whatever it might be. So there's any different kinds of ways you can actually implement this project. Are you ready for the project? All right, so here it is. So imagine, if you will, you are a data analyst, and you work for a chain of upscale barber shops in the United States. And yes, in case you're curious, <laughs> that actually is a thing. There are chains of barber shops. It's a, it's a thing in the United States. And your employer, this upscale chain of barber shops, is interested in expanding into the U.S. state of Texas. They don't have any shops there, and they think it's a good way to expand the business, grow revenue, that sort of thing. And they're asking you to say, hey, we want to move into Texas, but there are barbers that exist there. So what we would really like to know is what parts of Texas should we open our stores in first? Specifically, they want to know this by U.S. zip code. And if you're not familiar, U.S. zip codes essentially divide the United States up into geographic areas where mail gets delivered, post gets delivered. They tend to be not too large, generally speaking, especially in urban areas, but they're typically big enough where you'll have a combination of not only commercial types of businesses, like barbershops, for example, but also households, like residential areas as well. Knowing this by zip code is a very good thing because then you can say, look, we're going to put one here, barbershop here, barbershop here, barbershop here. So that's your task you need to create a predictive model that accurately predicts the number of barbers in any particular zip code in the state of Texas. And then once you've got that accurate model, you then go through Texas data and say, my model predicts that there should be 25 barbers here, but I've only found 10. And that difference is big enough that I'm pretty confident that there is excess demand for barbering services vis-a-vis -vis the supply. And that makes that zip code attractive to your employer as a place to potentially open one of these new upscale barbershops. So that's your mission. Now, if this sounds daunting, if this sounds complicated, it's not as complicated as you may think. So first up, I'm gonna put up a video up here. This is a video on my YouTube channel. And what it does is it goes through where you can acquire all of this data to do this predictive modeling project. Data from the state of Texas regarding barbers and data from the US Census Bureau regarding, for example, the population within a zip code in Texas, the educational breakdown of a population in a zip code in Texas, the household incomes of folks in a particular zip code in Texas, because all of those pieces of data might be very predictive of how many barbers are actually in that zip code. That's for you to find out as part of the project. So you can get the data, you can model it however you would like, and then lastly, of course, there's the key thing, right? If you do the work, that's great. You absolutely need to do it. But you also need to present it in such a way that it's going to resonate with the hiring manager and they're going to say, look, I can take a bet on this person, even though they don't have a formal degree in analytics. They've done this project and they've done it so well that I think I can make them a part of my team. So I do have a video on that as well, and I'm going to put it up here. So you can check out these two videos. One about getting the data, and then two, once you've done your project, how to do it in such a way that it will catch the attention of a hiring manager. All right, there you have it. A 100% real world inspired, 100% free 
predictive analytics project, full life cycle. You got to get the data. You got to learn the data. You got to clean the data. You got to model the data. Just so you don't miss those two videos that I mentioned, I'm also going to put them here and here. So this real world analytics project is just the thing for anybody who's interested in getting started with an analytics project portfolio that can appeal to a hiring manager. If you have any questions or comments, just go ahead and leave them down below the video. And until next time, please stay healthy and I wish you very happy data sleuthing.